Well, some people are surprised when I tell them that they can improve their vision naturally with exercises, but a lot of people can accept that, okay, doing exercises, my vision could improve, why not? Let's try it. But when we talk about um, the level that we addressed in the third video, that's very surprising for a lot of people that your outer vision is related to your inner vision and that um, the emotions that you may have not fully digested, maybe on the way or of your capacity to fully see clearly. Um, well, that was a groundbreaking idea. It's not mine. It was published in a PhD, uh, um, in a um, dissertation um, written by Dr. Charles Kelly in a collaboration between the New School of Social Research and the University of Columbia. So not an improvised third category university. And uh, when uh, he did his research, he won the prize for the best uh, uh, PhD dissertation of the year. So, and the idea that Charles Kelly had was, um, so he had been short-sighted, myopic uh, for many years, and he improved his vision um, with, well, natural vision improvement exercises and the Bates method. And um, so he knew that this worked and that uh, the tension in the muscles in the eye, as I explained earlier very quickly, um, was creating the focusing problem. And on the other hand, he was a psychology student. He had been acquainted with uh, um, Wilhelm Reich's theories and the idea that Wilhelm Reich worked with that when there are emotions that you do not fully experience and integrate and transcend, those emotions get stored in your body as muscle tension. So he had the idea, what if behind the tension in the muscles that keep us from focusing sharply is actually emotional tension. And if it were emotional tension, could we find specific correspondences between specific emotions that have not yet been digested and specific eye symptoms? And so he did his PhD research on this and he found the correspondences and he got a prize for his findings. So it was really an extraordinary uh, work. In more than 80% of the cases, the key, uh, the clue to solve the vision problems is found in this level. In my experience, maybe other vision educators have other experiences, but in my experience with my clients and students and uh, participants, uh, this is really a very key factor. Um, in over 80% of cases, uh, vision problems started at a time in our lives when we were living some situation with stress with tension. There's a correspondence, a correlation between a moment of stress and a moment of our, our vision declining. And if we can go back to that moment, what was going on and what were the unprocessed emotions that we didn't completely release, and if we take the time to release them, and in this uh, level I will teach you many techniques to do that, well, uh, then the shift can happen in our consciousness, and when we don't need to protect ourselves anymore for that, whatever that was threatening us, then the body doesn't need to make the adjustment to protect us. Um, a lot of times when people get surgery, actually in 58% of the times, according to a research done by the ophthalmology department of the University of Helsinki in Finland, in 58% uh, of the time, when people get surgery uh, to improve their vision, sometime after the symptoms come back. And this is due to two reasons. One, that they keep having bad habits of using their eyes. So, I mean, if you have your car and you are driving against the curb and you're, uh, there's friction between your, um, um, your wheel and the curb all the time, well, the wheel is going to be uh, damaged and you can of course change the wheel, but if you, you keep driving in the same way, you're going to develop the same problem in the wheel again. And the wheel of your car, you may change it many times, but you cannot uh, constantly be touching and doing surgery on your eyes all the time. Uh -huh. There's a limit to that. Um, There's a limit of what you can do to your crystalline and your cornea, etc. So if you uh, develop, if you don't change your habits of how you use your eyes, well, they're going to be damaged again after a surgery because you're not driving them properly. Uh, and the other, the other reason, and this is very, very key, is that if the vision decrease was an emotional reaction to a threatening situation, if it was the adaptive response of your body to 
the perceived threat of the situation. And if you never address that inner cause, you can do as many exercises as you want, you can do as many surgeries as you want, the problem is going to come back. So it's important at some point in time to go look inside and release those emotions that keep you from seeing. Uh, people, when they go through this, not only they say that their eyesight improves dramatically, but that their vision improves dramatically. Their vision of themselves, their vision of the world, their vision of why they're here, what they're here to do. And uh, yeah, it's a very rejoicing and rewarding level to work on. Mm -hmm.